ముందుగా ప్రియమైన విద్యార్థులు విద్యార్థులకు మరియు వారి తల్లిదండ్రులకు నమస్కారము నా పేరు కె వెంకన్న కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ చైర్మన్ నేను ఈ రోజు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ విద్యార్థులను దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకుని మాట్లాడడం జరుగుతుంది అది ఏమిటనగా మనందరికీ తెలుసు గత రెండు సంవత్సరాలుగా కరోనా కారణంగా విద్యార్థులు ఎటువంటి పరీక్షలు రాయకుండానే పై తరగతులు పంపడం జరుగుతుంది ఫలితంగా ఐఐటి జేఈ మరియు నీట్ లాంటి జాతీయ స్థాయి పరీక్షలను సాధించడం కష్టతరం అవుతుంది దీనిని అధిగమించడానికి మరియు పదో తరగతి పరీక్షలో అత్యధిక మార్కులు సాధించడానికి నేను మీ ముందుకు కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ద్వారా అనుభవజ్ఞులైన అధ్యాపకులచే ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ మరియు గత ప్రశ్న పత్రాల సమాధానాలను విశ్లేషణ ఇవ్వబడను కాబట్టి నేను విద్యార్థులకు చెప్పదలుచుకున్నది ఏంటంటే ఈ ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులను మరియు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ లను క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో కూర్చొని చదువుకున్నంత సీరియస్ చదువుకోవాలను ఇంకొకటి ఏమిటనగా ఈ యొక్క క్లాసులు విన్న వెంటనే అర్థం చేసుకుని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయాలను ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడం అంటే కేవలం చదవడం కాదు పేపర్ మీద రాయవలను అలాగైతే గుర్తుండిపోతుంది దీంతో పాటు మీ యొక్క నాలెడ్జ్ ని పరీక్షించుకున్న కొరకు త్వరలో ఫ్రీ ఫండ్ పరీక్షలు కూడా నిర్వహించబడు ఈ యొక్క అవకాశాన్ని సద్వినియోగం చేసుకోవాలని టెన్త్ చదివే విద్యార్థులకు విజ్ఞప్తి చేస్తున్నాను Yes, welcome back students. I hope uh, all, of, all of you are doing well. I am teaching progressions, geometric progressions for Venkana classes. I am Yogananda. Now let us take up a new subtopic in progressions called geometric progressions. I am writing it on the board. Geometric progression. geometric progression this is also called as gp what is the previous progression you learnt arithmetic progression now you are going to do geomet you are going to learn geometric progression the main difference between arithmetic progression and geometric progression i'll tell you by one example look at the example 1 2 3 simple example this is arithmetic progression why this is called arithmetic progression the progression is going arithmetically upwards what is the first term 1 what is the second term 2 what is the difference 1 look at the difference 1 look at the difference 1 look at the difference here this is unique this is an arithmetic progression having got the first term 1 common difference 1 and the simple example is 1 1 2 3 4 so on instead of taking that common difference i'll multiply it now i'll take 1 multiply it by 2 what do you get 1 into 2 2 next multiply it by 2 4 multiply it again by 2 2 into 4 8 16 so on look at this now i have written 1 progression wherein the first term is 1 and the second term is obtained by multiplying the first term by what quantity multiply it by 2 this is into 2 i am writing this is in fact plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 first term is multiplied by 2 second term is multiplied by 2 third term is multiplied by 2 and so on look at the progression 1 2 4 8 16 so on what is the fourth term 4 what is the fourth term 8 fifth term is 5 fifth term is 16 in geometric progression this progression is called geometric progression in this geometric progression the terms are increasing very rapidly whereas in arithmetic progression the terms are not increased in a rapid mode in this progression geometric progression the terms are increased in a very 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 rapid mode highly so we are multiplying it if you multiply by a number the number gets doubled next doubled next doubled and so on so i will write the general form of a geometric progression so when you look at the first term as a and a is multiplied by r and then it is multiplied by r again then it is multiplied by r again you get a geometric progression the difference of ap and gp is 
first the first term is a there and here there it, it is common difference it is not common difference here it is ratio what is the ratio a r by a a r square by a r this is what is called ratio i am writing it again formula first term a take second term t2 by t1 a r divided by a what is that r take t3 divided by t2 a r square by a r it is r again t4 by t3 again you will get r so this is common ratio this is called common ratio this is represented by r so in a geometric progression the first term is multiplied by r again the second term is multiplied by same r again the third term is multiplied by same r that is what is written as second term divided by first term third term divided by second term next term divided by the previous term and so on if this pattern continues in a list of numbers this is called a geometric progression so i'll tell you some example few examples for geometric progression right geometric progression the data is a is equal to 3 r is equal to 2 taking r is equal to 2 and a equal to 3 you have to write one geometric progression so what is the first term here 3 gp is you can directly write it 3 3 into 2 a a r next one is 3 into 2 square next one is 3 into 2 cube so on this is 3 6 4 into 3 12 2 cube is 8 into 3 24 so on there is another method of writing this i am telling you that also first start with 3 multiply it by 2 6 multiply 6 by 2 12 multiply 12 by 2 24 so look at this both are the same so when a geometric progression needs to be formed you have to take the first term take the common ratio and apply the formula a r square a r a r square a r cube so on this is one example for geometric progression <coughs> i would like to give you the definition if you want you can note down the definition write down the definition the geometric progression definition a list of numbers a1 a2 a3 a4 so on an is called a geometric progression if each term is non zero whatsoever you take all these terms should be non zeros and any term an by its previous term an minus 1 is equal to r a, a unique ratio which is not equal to 1 this should not be equal to 1 also if it is 1 what happens a multiplied by r which is 1 a multiplied by again a 1 you get a and so on this is not a geometric progression because r is 1 you are getting the repeatedly the same number first term i repeat the definition a list of numbers a1 a2 a3 so on an is called a geometric progression if <coughs> nth term by its preceding term is equal to some r which is not equal to 1 is called a geometric progression where n is a natural number anyway you don't need the definition this definition is enough what is the general form of a geometric progression a a r a r square a r cube so on hello students myself sunil kumar badal i have done my btech from iit kanpur here at kevin karna classes i teach is chemistry so right now i know you all are busy with your board exam preparation but let me ask you a question suppose you want to be a cricketer who would you choose your coach a cricketer or a wrestler 
answer is definitely cricketer so in the same way here we are the group of itians nitn and doctor so if you really want to crack or get a seat into iit nit or any top medical colleges come here and join us what are you waiting for thank let us do few more examples on geometric progression examples on geometric progression i'll give you one example here first term is taken as 1 common ratio is taken as 1 by 2 then what happens how the geometric progression is formed look at the first term 1 common ratio is 1 by 2 what is the gp i am writing gp directly what is the formula a ar ar square so on what is a 1 One into one by two, one into one by two square, so on. It is one, one by two, one by four, and so on. This is the answer. This is one example for geometric progression. Let us take one more example. I am giving you the data here. In the second example, A is taken as two fifty six. R is taken as minus one by two. So you have to form the geometric progression. What is the formula here? Same. Geometric progression is you can either write this formula and go ahead, or straight away write the geom geometric progression. Start with what? Two fifty six. First term A. Next, two fifty six is multiplied by what? Minus one by two. Next, two fifty six is multiplied by what? Minus one by two whole square, and so on. It is two fifty six. Two goes here one twenty eight. Is it minus or plus minus? Next, what is one by two whole square? Four one by four minus one by two whole square. Same one by four. So it is two fifty six. Divided by four, so this is two fifty six minus one twenty eight, four times sixty eight. You can look at this. Every time the term is being halved, polarity is changed. What is polarity? First term positive, second term negative, third term positive, fourth term negative, so on. Two fifty six. Half one twenty eight minus half sixty eight plus because this is multiplied by minus one by two minus into minus is plus. Next time writing even if you go by formula also you get it sixty eight next term is minus but it should be half thirty four next term is plus positive and sixteen so on this is the answer. This is also one geometric progression. Let us now. take up some progressions and evaluate or verify whether they are geometric progressions or not i am just listing out some progressions list of numbers we will we'll verify whether it is a geometric progression or not so we write down the question like this which of the following lists following lists of numbers form gp i am giving the first question here 3 6 12 so on second question also i am writing here 64 minus 32 16 so on third question 1 by 64 1 by 32 1 by 8 so on i am repeating the question again you are given the list of numbers as i told you as per the definition the given list of numbers is verified for geometric progression or not so first one is 3 6 12 what is the first term A is equal to three. Second term T two. First term T one. T two by T one six divided by three. 
How many times? Two times. What is T3? What is T2? T3 by T2, 12 divided by 6. Answer is 2. So look at this, they both are the same, same ratio. Am I right? If ratio is same, then what do you say? It is common ratio. Therefore, you can say R is equal to 2. This is a JP. This is a geometric progression. Answer is yes. Is it a geometric progression? Yes, it is a geometric progression. Is the list of numbers a JP? Yes. How? First term is found, ratio is found and observe that common ratio is same. Therefore, it is a GP. Come back to the next problem. What is the first term here? A 64. What is T2 by T1? Second term divided by T1 minus 32 divided by 64. 32 goes 2 times. 2 into 32 is 64. So, it is minus 1 by 2. T3 by T2. What is T3? 16 divided by minus 32. It is 1 by minus 2 minus 1 by 2. Look at the ratio here. Here they both are the same. You can write the same ratio 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. Therefore, R is equal to minus 1 by 2. Is it a GP? Yes, it is a GP. Yes is the answer. Next, let us take the third problem. In the third problem, what is the first term given? 1 by 64. What is T2 by T1? Second term, 1 by 32 divided by 1 by 64. How will you write it? 1 by 32 into 64 by 1, which is 2. What is T3 by T2? T3 is 1 by 8 divided by 1 by 32. So, this is 1 by 8 into 32 by 1. 8 goes how many times? 4 times. Look at the ratio here. Look at the ratio here. Is it the same ratio? No. Different ratio. Different ratios. If the ratios are same, then only it is a geometric progression. Here it is different ratios. Therefore, it is not geometric progression. Answer is no. You are asked a question like this. Is the list of numbers 1 by 64, comma 1 by 32, comma 1 by 8 and so on a geometric progression or not? What is the answer? No. Let us look at all these three problems. First question, first list of numbers is a GP. Second list of numbers is a GP. Answer is yes. Third list of numbers is not a GP.